Hi, so I have another math story for you. This time it's about shapes. And this story is called Circle. This book is about circle. This book is also about circles, friends, triangle, and square. Also, it is about a rule that Circle makes and how she has to rescue Triangle when he breaks that rule. So we're gonna read this story. And at the end of this story, there's a little activity we're gonna do. So you can go ahead and get a piece of paper now, or you can wait till the end of the story and get a piece of paper. All you need is a paper and something to write with a pen, a marker, a crayon, doesn't matter what, anything, okay? So this story called Circle is by Mac Bennett and John Klassen illustrated it. This is Circle. This is Circle's waterfall. One day, Circle and Square and Triangle played a game near her waterfall. Here are the rules, Circle said. I will close my eyes and count to ten. You must hide somewhere. When I open my eyes, I will try to find you. Square said, okay. Triangle said, neat. There is one more rule, said Circle. No hiding behind the waterfall. Square said, okay. Triangle said, why not? Because, said Circle, it is dark back there. Square said, okay. Triangle said, I'm not afraid of the dark. Circle closed her eyes and counted to 10. Ready or not, said Circle, here I come. When she opened her eyes, Square was just standing there. He pointed and said, Triangle went behind the waterfall. Circle sighed. I will go find him. Circle, said Square, you are very brave. I know, Circle said, and she slipped behind the waterfall. It was quiet on the other side of the waterfall. Circle called out, Triangle, Triangle, where are you? There was no answer. It's very dark, ooh. Farther inside, there was not much light. Triangle, triangle, where are you? There was no answer. She went even farther. Until it was all dark. Triangle, said Circle. There you are. Why do you always break all the rules? There was no answer. Why do you always spoil our fun? There was no answer. Why are you such a bad friend? There was no answer. I'm sorry, said Circle. I should not have said that. You are a good friend. You just made us worried. We love you, Triangle. Thanks, Triangle said from behind her. Circle turned around and said, Triangle? Yes, said Triangle. I am sure glad to see you in Square. Circle said, Square is outside. This is not Square. I thought it was you. Nope, said Triangle, that is not me. No, said Circle. Oh, said Triangle, who is it? Circle turned back and faced the shape in the dark. Who are you? She asked. There was no answer. Ah, said Triangle. Triangle and Circle ran very fast back through the dark. Back through where there was not much light. Back through the waterfall back to the outside.
Square was waiting for them. They told him what had happened. Well, Square said, I'm glad I stayed here. Triangle said, now I am afraid of the dark. Circle looked back at the waterfall falling. You know, she said, that shape in the dark might not have been bad. It might have been a good shape. We could just not see it. Circle closed her eyes. I wonder, Circle said, what kind of shape was it? Then they all closed their eyes and they each pictured a shape. If you close your eyes, what shape do you picture? That's exactly what we are going to do. So if you have a chance, go get a piece of paper and come back and we will picture a shape and draw our shape and describe our shape. Ivy listened to that whole story too. There she is, quietly watching, sitting on top of her table this time. Okay, everyone. Even if you have heard this story before, even if you have drawn a shape before, I want you to all close your eyes and think of a shape. Now, maybe it's different than the shape that you drew before. Maybe it's the same, that's okay. But think about it, look at it. It might be a shape that we have studied in class. It could be a trapezoid, a hexagon, a rhombus, a circle, square, rectangle, any of that. Or it could be a shape that we didn't study. Maybe it's a shape that you don't know the name for. So look at that shape, try to memorize it. And when you're ready, open your eyes and you can try drawing it. I'm gonna draw the shape I saw. It's not a shape that has a name, I don't think. So I saw these two, well, it was actually three, three sets like that. And then it had this curved part. And then it had three, sides like that. So that's the shape I saw. I don't know if it has a name, but I'm gonna figure out how many vertices it has and how many sides it has. So this one, a vertices is where two sides touch, right? Sometimes we call it a corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did I miss one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh, 14 vertices. Now, how many sides? Hmm. So it has two curved sides. So I'm gonna write that, two curved sides. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve straight sides. Now, because this is my shape that I made up in my brain, I am going to name it. You know what I'm going to name it? I'm going to name it Buconagon. Get it? like polygon, but Bukani. So I'm gonna write that down. This is my Bukanigon. I love it. 
There's my Bukanagon. So I want you to use your imagination and see that shape in your brain when you close your eyes and draw a picture of it and then send your teacher a picture of your picture. I'd love to see it. You can write how many sides it has, how many vertices it has, um, and you can give it a name if you want to. Or it could be just one we've studied before and you know the name of those. And look. Ivy really wants to see it too. She's hoping sh that you'll show her too. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.